This will be the directions for the Treaty of Versailles simulation. I've never created a screencast for directions, so I really need to see how this goes because the 20s and depression will have a pretty big uh, you know, simulation. So let's just see how this goes. Next class, we're going to start the Treaty of Versailles. This is the slideshow that I will use in class, and this is the card game that we completed when we first started World War I. Hopefully everybody can watch the screencast and have some idea about what to do when we uh, get to class. Anyway, for this class, which the focus is the Treaty of Versailles, what you need to do is uh, open up the file that has these cards. Now, not all of these cards are going to be used. As you can see up here, this is the German cards, and these are the British and French cards. Notice the USA objective is right here to maintain peace and prevent punishing of Germany, which is what the British and French want to do. Often in my simulations, I try to put groups or students, you know, with their objectives to be complete opposite. Anyway, for this one, if you remember, when we did start World War I, Germany's goal was to obtain these cards. Well, now Germany has these cards. So what I would like you to do for next class is uh, be able to have this uh, slide opened up or this file. And if you're Germany, you are just going to keep track of, you know, when you lose money, when you lose this land. So this is Rhineland, this is Alsace-Lorraine, Army, Navy, and all of this stuff will be dependent on what happens in the rounds. So the expectation is that every student will have this file opened, and uh, you're just going to have to keep track. If we were in class, we would be using uh, actual cards to do this. In this file here, we have uh, these four nations. Keep in mind, if you're the US, you are the one who is going to have to complete this sheet right here. It's a grid. I don't know how we're going to do this in remote, but what I do know is that in class, you're going to have to, um, you would have this sheet and just kind of keep track. So we have these issues. So if you notice here, there are issues one all the way up to eight. And these are your options, options one, option two, option three, and then your group discussion is whatever you decide here, your discussion. So let's say in round one, you pick option one, your group uh, would circle this, and maybe here you select option three, you'd circle, and then anything that's significant in the group discussion. So that's the way pretty much this is played. So I've already mentioned the cards. The goal here is for Britain and France to obtain all of the cards, as many as possible as they can from Germany, which is, you know, trying to reduce the German empire. If you remember, World War I started because Germany's empire was starting to expand and this became problematic for Britain and France. This is why they formed an alliance. Um, since Germany lost, if you're Britain and France, if at any point in your conversation, they just seem to get problematic, they just don't seem to get it, you can exercise your shut up card, at which point the person playing the role of Germany has to just stop talking and abide by whatever the British and French want to do. If you're the U.S., you have to just try to keep these sides from really, uh, you know, going to war, being nasty to each other. You're there to try to maintain peace. Um, so that's kind of the way this is played. Using this particular chart here, you have the, you know, rise of empire. So I put Otto von Bismarck, the George Washington for Germany, and then the decline, and then you see the Nazis here because it's real simple. World War I takes away the German Empire, which is why Germany is, or this era is on decline. And the Nazis argue that they are going to restore the German Empire. So the way this game is played, uh, if you are the scorekeeper, remember we don't have the uh, chart here. So your job is going to be to open up the slideshow. And everybody could have the slideshow open, it really doesn't matter. But they are the ones who are going to be kind of moderating this. So they would just simply say, okay, issue one. Who is to blame? Who should accept the war guilt? So if I was in the group, I would say, okay, you know, uh, issue one, who is go who's to blame and who accepts the war guilt? Our options are these right here, Germany, Austria, Germany, Ger all three. And then you talk about it. And that stuff goes right here, your group discussion uh, for next class. You just kind of put this information in your notes. And then when you're done at the end of the you know time, could be two minutes, could be three minutes, you just circle. Our group said Germany or our group picked option three. Then we move on to option number two. Let's see, if you are the US represented by Wilson, try to maintain peace. Right, so it's just kind of giving you the directions. Now we move on to section uh, two, which is this one here. So we have yet the now issue two is this, and then we kind of go down the line. So this slide right here is just pretty much using the Treaty of Versailles. I put the Treaty of Versailles on the left side, 
And then on the right side, you have some of the important stuff that's uh, you know relevant to our class for assessment purpose. So this is the actual treaty. Um, let's try to, to stay away from uh, looking at, at that particular side and using this to influence. But if you notice, the expectation here is this. We're going to go to issue one. We're going to talk about the options. And then when we get to this slide, you kind of know. And by the way, Germany has to give up the pride card. Why? Because the pride card is right here. So that's the way this slideshow is created. You have the issue. And then it tells you the cards that Germany has to give up. And then we kind of just scroll down. So for class, if you are the moderator, I only want you focusing on the slides that read like this. Issue one, who is to blame, who should accept the war guilt clause, and so on. That's it.